Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So in this particular video, we are going to talk about TIFR exam. Now, since the exam is very near and you might be wondering what to study, how much to study, where to study and everything, right? So we'll talk about quite a few things about that. Rest of the things like what the exam is and when it is conducted, everything we have discussed already in the previous videos, you have already filled the form. The exam is near. We just have, I think, 15 days, not 15 days, less than that for the exam so i just thought to make a video to just make you aware about it okay i was not making videos for tifr because the gsi, GSI exam was there and uh, yeah so that's why i didn't made this video up till yet but now it's time that you should know about all these things so how much marks you have to get in order to get qualified for tifr and uh, like how to prepare what are the things which you have to study what are the things you can avoid so that is what we are going to talk about in this video okay so watch this video completely to understand about your preparation strategy for your tifr exam All right, so this TIFR, which is Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, this is one of the most prestigious institutes of India where research is actually carried out at a very serious and a very, uh, like, you can say at a very high level, okay? Students who do research from TIFR, they have very good chances to get postdocs or to get higher positions, especially in India, also in outside India, okay? So in foreign countries, there are a lot of chances that they are going to get positions over there. So this makes this institute very prestigious because the level of research which is carried out over here is really high and generally the work which is being done is in the interdisciplinary field as i have already told told it in the previous videos also regarding tifr so there are gen basically two uh, like uh, tifr institutes okay one is tifr mumbai okay one is tifr mumbai and the other one is TICS Hyderabad okay TICS or basically also called as TIFR Hyderabad so these are uh, these are the two institutes which you have now this TIFR Hyderabad is a old institute okay it is already established long back and the labs and everything are well furnished TIFR Hyderabad is a new institute it's a relatively newer institute it is not very old I think less than 10 years are there when it has already when it it is actually established and uh, the institutes institute is very well furnished infrastructure is good but it is still in its early budding uh, you can say budding area or budding age so that's why the cutoff for TICS Hyderabad is basically lower as compared to for TIFR Hyderabad. So that's what it is the cutoff goes lower for Hyderabad uh, Institute whereas for the TIFR Mumbai the cutoff remains little high now how much low how much high let's discuss about that before going into that let me tell you that the question paper consists of 40 questions okay there are 40 questions and I guess you get three hours for the exam so for three hours you get 40 questions to solve each question gives you three marks okay each question is of three marks and there is a negative marking of minus one marks okay so this is the negative marking which you get for all the questions like in any question if you do wrong you will get minus one marks so negative marking is there so this makes this this whole thing makes the whole exam of 120 marks okay so maximum marks are a 120 marks so there is 120 marks exam 40 questions each of three marks negative marking minus one that is one third of the one third is the negative marking now if you see any of the exam at this level at phd level after msc which exams you give for for the phd entrance there is no other exam which has this much less number of questions even gate has more number of questions even csr net has like three times of the number of questions which tfr gives you time is given to you equally in all the three exams uh, negative marking and the other factors in the TIFR is also high compared to GATE or compared to CSR net that makes this exam difficult okay that makes this exams a little difficult from the other two now the cutoff which generally goes 
which I know from the previous few years that for Hyderabad, uh, like for the Hyderabad Institute, the cutoff goes around 60 marks. Okay, this is the cutoff which goes for Hyderabad Institute. Whereas for the Mumbai uh, Institute, the cutoff goes around 70 marks. Okay, so that means out of 120, if you score around 60 or more, there are high chances that you will get Hyderabad Institute. And if you get a better score than that 70 and plus, then Mumbai Institute you can apply for. Now, uh, like that's what it is. Okay, so that means around 50% marks it is. And I think that in this particular exam, there will be just a single cutoff. There will be no like cutoff based upon category as far as I remember. I don't, I'm not quite 100% sure about it. You can check that out. I'm not 100% sure about it. But yeah, I think there is a general cutoff which comes. There is a list of candidates which comes who qualify for the exam. And the list of the candidate is displayed on the official website. You can check your name. If your name is there, you will be called for interview. You have to give interview. After interview, your final selection is, uh, is basically checked. Or basically whether you will be finally uh, selected or not, that depends upon your interview as well. So it's not just the, your written exam. After written exam, you have to give interview as well. So that's what it is. But yeah, these are the marks after which you, will, you can get your interview call. So this is the marks which I can tell you based upon the previous few years. All right. So this is what this is all about it. Now, talking about the exam and what you can expect from this. This is the most unexpected exam. Okay. This exam is something where there is no pattern kind of thing. For example, in CSI net exam, you have a pattern. You know that you have to study previous years questions. If you have done the previous years questions, you can at least do some of the questions because similar types of questions are asked sometimes. Same goes for gate also. You know that what types of questions you have to do and from there you can do the questions in the gate exam as well. Well, in TIFR it does not work. In TIFR they actually checks your logical analysis and the way how you are able to tackle a particular problem. Okay, they don't give direct questions. There will be some questions like two or three will be there which will be direct questions where a direct equation will be used to solve that. But in most of the cases you are given with a problem. You, if you will see the previous years questions, I'll give you the link to download the previous years questions. So if you download the previous years questions, you will get to see of your own that actually these questions, whatever the previous years questions and whatever the questions are there, you will see that the questions are not one liner or two liner. Questions are actually four to five lines. They are big, big questions. They have given you a certain condition you have to read the condition, you have to understand the condition and then you have to act accordingly. Okay, so the exam is not like that. You can analyze the previous years questions. Link is there in the description of the video. You can check that out and definitely see that how the questions are asked. It's not that questions are very, very difficult. Okay, It's not like it's very difficult. Questions are, are, are of the moderate level only, but you have to read them, you have to understand them and then you have to analyze that what actually you have to do in that that makes this exam different from the others in the other exams you get direct questions you get direct questions from equation for example let's consider your uh, brax equation so in csi net exam you get very direct questions from brax equation right but in tifr they won't give you that direct questions either they will twist it in a way so that you have to uh, you have to like uh, derive an equation to solve that particular question it goes like that not all the questions, but most of the questions. Okay, you will get three or four questions will be direct, but not all of them. So make sure that you are prepared, uh, like like in your mind, you are prepared for that, and make sure that you are ready to to face those types of questions. Okay, so it's very important to see them, and it's like you cannot prepare for this exam as such. That's what is what I want to tell you. That uh, for CSI net exam, there is a particular strategy. You can go with that strategy, and you will be able to. Like at least you will be able to do the, the questions. Same goes for gate, but for TIFR, the strategies are not there. And that's the best thing about this exam. Okay. It test does not test your, how much you have remembered. It tests that how much you have understood. Okay. How much concept you have understood. Now the three sections are there, organic, inorganic and physical. Let's talk about that from where most of the questions are asked. So most of the questions are from your physical chemistry. Okay. Most of the questions are from your physical chemistry. So this portion has to be very, very strong in order to give your TIFR exam. Even from your organic chemistry also, you'll get a quite a few number of questions from organic chemistry also. But physical chemistry questions are a bit more tricky and bit more 
like where you have to apply a little bit of your uh, like logical mind to solve them organic chemistry questions are although sometimes very uh, like straightforward uh, you can do them if you understand basics of organic chemistry you can do them but for physical chemistry you need logical thinking to do that right talking about inorganic so inorganic has least weightage in this so if you are good at inorganic it is not going to help you much you can see previous years questions you will see that you will you will rarely get two to three questions not more than two question or three questions from inorganic chemistry so inorganic does not have that weightage the highest weightage is for physical chemistry than organic chemistry inorganic is least one more part is there that is called as your aptitude okay aptitude and mathematics part so this part is also given a lot of weightage even more than in organic chemistry in your PIFR exam so aptitude thinking and mathematics means derivation integration functions okay these things you should be aware about so tifr exam is mostly or it's it's beneficial for those who have good understanding of physical chemistry who have good understanding of mathematics and if your organic is fine then also it's good for you so this is what this exam is all about okay or inorganic chemistry is not given that much of weightage so uh, that's what it should be now will the previous year's questions help you in qualifying tifr exam you can analyze previous 10 year of question paper are there in the link which I am giving you. Previous 10 years of question papers are there. You will find, you will rarely find questions getting repeated or similar types of questions being asked. Okay. The questions are very well made, very well analyzed and very well put forward to you to solve. And it requires in every new question, it is a new challenge to solve it. Okay. So the questions are not repeated as such. So previous years questions can only help you to solve such questions or it can only give you a gist of it that what type of questions you are actually going to face but it's not going to be like if you do previous years of question that directly is going to come in the upcoming exam or similar kind of questions are going to come no it is just going to help you to understand or to make up your mind that what type of questions you are going to face in the exam as such all right so uh, yeah solve previous years questions and if you guys want me to uh, provide some of the solutions so yeah i will do that i'll take some of the like five to ten questions from previous years of tifr and i'll try to provide the solution of them how to do those type of question how to logically think about them if you want me okay do let me know in the comment sections that if you guys want me to do that uh, and if you guys will suggest me then definitely i'll make a video for that and um, that's what it will be but for now if you have if you have filled the form you are waiting for the exam so you should be prepared for that what you have to do download previous years of questions paper uh, check them out see what types of questions are being asked look upon the level try to make up your mind that yes you are able to do them and then go in the exam and give your best okay so this is what you can do for now so this is the whole scenario right now okay it should be very clear in your mind that what you are going to face and what is going to come in front of you so this was all about this video guys i just wanted to make you guys aware about the facts make you guys aware about the level of the exam which you are going to face and it's not to like to make you demoralize or to demoralize or to just uh, uh, give you some fear about the exam it's not about that it, it's just there like i have just made this video to make you aware about the exam all right so that's all for this video guys thank you so much for watching it and if you like the video give it a like if you have not subscribed to the channel do subscribe to it and I'll see you in the next one. Till then, have a great day. Bye-bye.